Stillness and abundance, love and light, health and wholeness. Stillness and abundance, love and light, health and wholeness. Stillness and abundance, love and light, health and wholeness. Stillness and abundance, love and light, health and wholeness to the cosmic consciousness, soul control, family and soul tribe. I hope everybody feeling good for no reason at all. Operating in the truest, highest, and authentic frequency and radiance of your true and authentic self. My name is Sabu the God. I feel good for no reason at all. Operating in the highest version of my authentic self. Um, before I begin, we're going to do an affirmation. I am the divine feeling in all life. Because you are. I am the divine feeling in all life. I am the divine feeling in all life. I am the divine feeling in all life. Say it like you mean it. Because you are. Two steps forward and one step back. Two steps forward and one step back. Without it, we won't have nothing to keep us in check. Somebody will catch it. That's and that's how we learn. Um, upon prepping for this video, I've been doing some very intense building. So, salute to all. I want to salute the youth, the young, the younger generation that be tapping in with me wherever you are but you know who you are i want to salute y'all and um and i want to acknowledge uh uh a shout out to hunter wolf um two steps forward and one step back sometimes you gotta sometimes you gotta get knocked one step back so you can move two steps forward. That's usually how this process works. Um, three questions was radiate, radiating, was permeating in me in preparation to this video. And, I, and I've been doing all I can to, to try to remember the sequence. Not only the sequence, but just how it came to me. One. Where are you living from? Your head, your heart, or your hand? Two. What are you doing it for? Your head, your heart, or your hand. Three. Where are you living from? Your head, your heart, or your hand? <laughs> mm. Two steps forward and one step back. How many of us ever experienced something and said, oh, I learned my lesson. I'll never go through that again. And then went through that again. I repeat, how many of us ever, and I already know the answer to this question because I'm a human just like you. But I repeat, how many of us have ever experienced something And it's usually traumatic things when we experience traumatic things that make us say this statement. I'll never go through that again. I learned my lesson. And I'll never go through that again. Only to find ourselves going through that again. I know I'm talking to somebody. And when we find ourselves 
going through the very same thing that we said we'll never go through again because we thought we learned the lesson the first time and it evidently if we're going through it again when you learn the lesson the first time it's because we ain't learned the lesson the first time walk with me family I'm a clown. I'm, I'm, I'm a clown. I'm gonna give y'all something, cause all, cause, cause so when you speak it with a certain level of truth, it don't always sound good. So, so at least I find ways to animate it, you know, so we can digest it with a little more ease and comfort. I get it. I get it. But it's only because we didn't learn it the first time, and maybe we needed a second time. And sometimes the second time wasn't enough, so it give us a third time. And sometimes the third time wasn't enough, so it give us a fourth time. Either way, we ain't get it the first time. At this point in life, the living experiences that we don't have is showing many of us and to our reaction different. We haven't learned nothing at all. It's not always about what we experience and when we going through what we gotta go through so we can get through what we have been through. Sometimes it's about the reactions, the responses that we're having along the way. That's why things repeat themselves on every level. See, the things that we have to go through in life really never change. We just go through them on different layers and different layers and different layers until we don't have to go through those, those things that we had to go through while we needed to go through them anymore. Somebody walk with me. You don't, you don't always have to get older to get wiser, family, but that's usually how it works. So, in recognition of that, I'm able to say the lesson's much easier now, this day, than they used to be. And what's simple is not always easy to accept. I'm going to repeat it again. <laughs> it don't take older age for wisdom to kick in, but that's usually how it worked. Because the first time, the second time, and the third time wasn't enough for most of us. But the lessons are much easier now than they used to be. Because when wisdom kick in, we realize that what's simple is not always easy to itself. Because we've been there and done that and that's the only way we know cause from what being there and done that don't show us somebody walk with me give yourself a round of applause if everything we need is here and if everything we need to experience has already took place within us by what's out picture then what are we doing with the heads that we've been given to think with? Pause. What are we doing with the heads, pause, that we've been given to think with since we've been here? I bring that up because I didn't realize the level <laughs> and the layers that we really reject, be rejecting ourselves underneath the surface. I never realized the levels that we be rejecting ourselves inwardly until it's time to say something positive about ourselves. And I work with groups. I do count. I do counseling. I do one-on-one -on -one sessions. I do a whole bunch of things. But it's through these things that I be shown these things. Why is it that we reject ourselves inwardly until it's time to say something positive about ourselves? And most of us, and most of us won't even notice about ourselves until it's time to say something positive about ourselves. And 
And in that moment, you'll see resistance in yourself or some old foreign, foreign energy that, that prevents you from being able to say something nice about yourself, myself, ourselves. We innerly reject ourselves. We'll never tell nobody about it. We'll never tell nobody. We'll really, some of us will never really tell nobody how we truly feel about ourselves. That's that's how much rejection we have for ourselves. I'm talking to some things. Despite of the outward appearances, despite of the visages <laughs> that we put on. Some people put on for the city, I put on for the rapture. But despite all of that, what we may put on outwardly. A lot of us can't honestly, and I mean honestly, look at ourselves in the mirror and really be able to love what you see. Even more so, it's hard for us to look in the mirror and say, I love you, I rock with you. You a champ, whatever, whatever, whatever it may need, or whatever it may be, to speak to the inward man, not what we see in the mirror, but the inward man, and how we really feel about our inward man, not what you looking at, but what you see, cause what we looking at in the mirror, is really not what we see. Somebody stay with me. I say that to say whoever I'm talking to, ain't nothing wrong with you other than what you mean, other than what you made yourself believe was wrong with you because of what society casted upon you. Ain't nothing wrong with you. If you human, so this don't exclude nobody because we human, at least in form, if you're human, we spend, just know, because a lot of us don't pay attention to it, we spend a lot of time, <laughs> we spend a lot of time finding time just to think about what's wrong with us more than what's right with us. We spend a lot of time, if you're human, you probably don't spend more time thinking about and finding what's wrong with you versus what's right with you. <clears throat> but most of us would never admit that to anybody that we know. We gotta be whole to be able to do that. Cause we gotta keep the outside appearance up with what the world says it's supposed to be. What society stands to say you supposed to be. <laughs> How you supposed to look. How you supposed to talk? How you supposed to dress? Yeah, that part. Family. If there's one thing I know, it's a, is that a seed will grow in the right soil and with the right moisture. All they need is the right conditions. I don't plant a lot of seeds over a period of time. I don't plant a lot of seeds. Whether we understand them, understand them, or overstand them or not, I don't plant a lot of seeds. And who knows the length of our journey, but I don't plant a lot of seeds. And if it's one thing I know, is that it's not been in vain. A seed will grow in the right soil with the right moisture under the right conditions. I did my part, family. <laughs> the rest on you. I say that to say these seeds that I plant, these seeds that we plant, we all plant seeds in people's lives every day, whether we are conscious of it or not. But these seeds is not for anybody. These seeds are for everybody. 
but it's not for anybody. More so, they are for <laughs> whoever in the correct circumstances, whoever find themselves in the correct conditions, whoever find themselves in the correct frequency and wavelength to catch what I'm transmitting through this bar band, <laughs> it's for you. It's for you. And there ain't nothing wrong with you. We are law and we are process in progress. And it's beautiful to start doing what's necessary to stand in our truth. Because on any given day, I prefer the cold truth over a warm lie. What you prefer? I don't know your life, but I can tell you this. Through your life, I can tell who sent you. Our beliefs is our life experiences. And we ain't always got to share the same beliefs to see the life experience. Stillness and abundance, love and light, health and wholeness. Feel good for no reason at all. Only you can do it. I got custom crafts from the Cosmic Conscious family. Glass beads with chakras. Chakra uh, gemstones. I got glass beads with the evil eye. I got wood and evil eye. I got turquoise and malachite. Y'all rock with me. If you see these anywhere else, they've been copied and imitated. Custom crafts by Cosmic Conscious. Y'all rock with me. Side with the God. I love y'all, family. Peace.